Basically, you, you've got a, uh, a shipping container. We've designed a shipping container and put a special uh, ebb mechanism inside it, which is our intellectual property. We then uh, use water with nutrients in it, uh, a certain amount of uh, light, sunlight and other uh, sources of light, and we suck in carbon dioxide. And carbon that dioxide catches the comes that's from... Yeah, I was going to say, that's uh, the, the way the carbon is captured, uh, and that's uh, how you do it, I suppose, in a nutshell. I haven't got that much time. But, uh, but how much is this deal worth to you? And uh, tell me about how much money you actually gain from carbon trading as a result from this. Well, as far as the carbon trading is concerned, I guess that'll depend on the jurisdiction you're in. It's not something that we've actually put into our profit calculations, but this particular initial stage in the uh, project will be a $140 million investment, and we should be able to uh, return a payback on three to four years, which uh, shows that it is uh, a robust uh, return of profit. What other deals do you have in the pipeline at the moment? Well, we are focusing, we're talking to uh, the Brazilians at the moment. Uh, that's something, all these projects take a long time to um, to get to fruition and we've been working for over two years on the one in New South Wales. So this is the first uh, cab off the rank. I think it will make it a lot easier for us now uh, and will encourage others to open the door and to talk to us. But uh, at this stage we'll focus on New South Wales and uh, Brazil. Uh, what advantages does your technology have from the existing technology that uh, is also available right now? Well, by the existing technology, you're talking about algae technologies? I'm talking about just generally carbon capture. Oh, okay. Well, as far as carbon capture is concerned, um, there has been a lot of talk about uh, carbon capture, capture and storage. And that is a very expensive exercise and uh, potentially very risky, putting carbon dioxide underground. Uh, but the the cost is, uh, is significant. What we're doing is capturing the carbon dioxide through the growth of algae in these shipping containers, and then we're turning that algae, uh, which is oily algae, into biodiesel and to jet fuel. So we're actually uh, creating an economic benefit from a waste product. Well, uh, carbon trading's been, uh, or should I say, carbon, the carbon tax there in uh, Australia has been a hugely controversial issue. Who do you think has the better policies at the election coming up? Tony Abbott or Kevin Rudd, uh, when it comes to that? Well, I think as far as uh, those sorts of policies concerned, I'll leave that to the politicians. But as far as uh, we're concerned, uh, obviously um, any um, carbon signal uh, will, will help... Uh, people, let's say, talk to us, but we've already passed that stage now, so I look forward to uh, really just working with the carbon emitters and helping them with a solution to end up with uh, a profitable business, which is where Algitech is now moving.